Oh, absolutely. Just a, a bucket waiting to happen. And it will be Iowa's ball to start things out. This team trying to settle into some consistency, something they've only known the last two years. Yeah, just has been a huge part of this city, this state. Caitlin Clark starting things out with her first three to get Iowa on the board. But find those opportunities, hunt them down. Yeah, that was really interesting, and I think it's helped her teammates find more confidence. Clark and one off the curve. And then Clark will push the other way. Clark finding Marshall. She's got it. Yeah, I like this move to go full court pressure because it's a smaller team. You want to use your, your speed, your explosiveness, but you have to be careful against this Iowa team who can break a press on six field goals made. Fleming getting into the lane, and it's picked off by a falter, and she's going to push it. Multiple orange jerseys does not matter. Davis driving baseline. Kate Martin, what a move to the rim. Draining from three as well, and standing up defensively, but this time a good take by the freshman Paige Kohler, her first bucket. Let's it fly from three, and Erica Porter keeps it in play for the Falcons. Sharps calling her own number. She's looking to get hot. That won't go. Molly Davis, the oh! crossover. Are you kidding me, Molly Davis? Goodman blocked underneath. It is Marshall launching the three, and that's her first miss. And there is Davis under the rim to dish it off to Mark. You're never going to tell Caitlin Clark to stop shooting threes. I mean, a, a score of that magnitude is getting up good attempts as Sydney Falter sneaks in there for an easy two. That's what Bowling Green needs. Yeah, Morgan Sharps had been out for about 10 months, just returning from an injury, her third game back. Sydney Falter, the easy finish. A lot on the line for the Wolverines. A falter gets out ahead, and she finishes. I think you watched those first couple games, the Virginia Tech win. It was a lot of Caitlin Clark, but now it's Caitlin Clark and company. Clark determined to find that stroke as she points to the crowd. Fleming slowing things down for the Falcons. And the floater, beautiful. A problem to deal with in the MAC. People maybe not expecting it, losing four or five starters. Clark loses it, gets it back, and then the finish. And then you get the easy two. Another double-double for Clark, her fourth this season. She needs two more to go top ten Woo! in ten history. And how about Jada Jimfrey? Iowa. 8-1 and one this season, the final 99-65, and a lot to be excited about with this program.